and telomere before? If you heard the word before, that's great. If you have not heard the word before, let's learn them today. Men and Toastmaster, follow Toastmasters. Just like physical exercise has many benefits, meditation, which is a form of mind exercise, also has many benefits. The subject of meditation has been researched extensively over the last several decades. There are over a thousand papers citing the benefits of meditation for stress reduction, for slowing the process of aging, for slowing Alzheimer's disease, and for better memory, better attention, etc. You may ask, hmm, by simply sitting on the cushion and doing nothing can really generate that many benefits? The answer is yes, you can. Let me explain the benefit of meditation in two aspects. One is related to the word neuroplasticity and the other, word, the other is related to the word telomere. First, neuroplasticity. It means our brain structure are plastic. They can change in response to experience, they can change in response to learning and training. According to world leading neuroscientist Dr. Richard Davidson from the University of Wisconsin, neuroplasticity is the most central theme in neuroscience over the last decade. The impl implication of neuroplasticity is that we can, we can um, engage in certain activities to, change, to intentionally change our brain structure in a way that promotes well-being. Many studies have found meditation is one of many effective ways to take advantage of neuroplasticity and shape our brain for the good. In 2005, Harvard University neuroscientist Dr. Sarah Lesser did a study on 20 long-term meditators and 15 controls in a comparison of brain structure using high-resolution MRI images. She found that long-term meditators had increased cortical thickness and had more gray matter in the certain area of the brain. This graph shows one of the research results. It's a plot of the cortical thickness in the frontal area of the brain versus age. The frontal area of the brain is responsible for decision making, for working memory, and so on. As you can see in the control group, in the red squares, as people get older, their cortex actually shrink. This is the nature of aging. This is part of the reason when we get older, it's harder for us to figure things out and to remember things. What is interesting in this graph is that the cortical structure in the long-term meditator does not reduce much with age, suggesting that meditation practice may help to slow down the natural age-related decline in cortical structure. Many study, uh, many other study, uh, it, this is just one of many studies that indicate meditation may alter our brain structure and slow down the process of aging. <coughs> now let's talk about the second word, telomere. 
Telomeres are the protective caps at the end of chromosome. They shield the end of chromosome each time the cell divides and the DNA is copied. But they wear down with each division. When they become too short, our cells start to malfunction and lose the ability to divide. This is now recognized as the key process of aging because telomere plays such an important role in the process of, of aging, researchers try to figure out a way to protect telomere. One study done by the University of California, Te uh, Davis, has shown that meditators have significantly higher levels of telomerase than non-meditators. Telomerase is an enzyme that helps to build telomere. This suggests that meditation may help to protect telomere by increasing the level of telomeres in the cell. Many other studies have shown that stress has significant effect on the length of telomere. Meditation can help to protect telomere by reducing the stress level in our body. In summary, meditation may help to slow down the process of aging and promote well-being by first taking advantage of neuroplasticity and improve our brain functions. Second, by protecting telomere at the end of chromosome so that our cells don't malfunction and don't lose the effect, don't lose the ability to divide when we get older. Medical